happen in um, shape by shaping nor simulate them. So our VR systems are based on motion parallax. She also found out that biological women are more likely to rely on shape by shading, depth cues, and men motion parallax. The research needs more work, but the <coughs> research industry has not addressed this problem. Of course, barriers to women are not only engineering problems. Uh, Heather Shui Hagbrook has recently been looking at the leading award in our field, the Prix Ars Electronica, noting that nine out of 10 awards have gone to men. Also, the award is a statue of an idealized female form with her head cut. <laughs> but maybe there's another perspective on this. Perhaps VR is indeed a technological evolution. Will VR continue to lure our brightest men with its magnificent separation of mind and body? Are the young and vulnerable or just the early losses? <laughs> Wow. What if it continues upwards and immobilizes older and more powerful leaders? I'm trying to be positive, and I'm starting to think this might be a new golden age, as men become immobilized by virtual apparitions, might be, might be emerged to be a post male society. <laughs> <laughs> the VR evolves us into the matriarchal utopia, is so desperately.